My name is uh, Yechiel Morris, and I'm the rabbi of Young Israel of Southfield. I was born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and my grandfather was a rabbi there, so I have memories of going to show with my uh, my father and always seeing my grandfather on the pulpit. And I also have these memories, they have these long benches. My father would start taking me when I was three or four years old, and I, I often would fall asleep in the middle of uh, you know, the services, and then my father would wake me up at the at the end. I love working with people in their moments of, uh, of joy, in the moments of, of struggle and, and, and challenge, being there for them. And, and I love the fact that um, everything that, that I do, I, I find meaningful and purposeful. You know, I was recently talking to someone, they asked me, uh, when do I work? And I said, I work all the time. I work 24 seven. On the one hand, that's a little bit challenging. On the other hand, every part of my, my day, as well as night, um, is I find uh, full of a uh, meaning and joy. Sitting around the table with, with my family, especially Friday night is very special. Able to put away everything from the, the weekday. We'll often have guests for lunch, but usually Friday night is just fa family, my, my children. And so that's just like a very special time to, uh, to reconnect with everyone. I actually love the Tachanun prayer, the supplication prayer that's uh, recited on weekdays um, after the, uh, the silent Amida, the silent Shimon Esrei. I find it the most one of the most powerful um, prayers that we recite. It's, it's Psalm six, and it, it talks about um, us turning to God when we're in pain and suffering, and and, and just feeling uh, God's warmth and, and compassion. I find it the most di direct um, prayer that we we, we say uh, to, uh, to to God uh, amongst all the all the prayers. As a rabbi, I love all of them. <laughs> they're they're all incredible. They're all special. It's some of the holiday of Tisha B'Av, uh, the fast of the, the ninth above. And I find it a very meaningful uh, day, not the fasting per se, which I don't uh, enjoy, but but rather reflecting on Jewish history, reflecting on the fact that we're still here as, as Jews and, and, the pe and the nations that uh, have harmed us over the ages. They have been diminished or have disappeared alt altogether. And, and I find it gives us me purpose in terms of moving forward. Um, and thinking about, um, you know, what I can do as, as a Jew and what we as a community can do to, to strengthen our, our lives and, 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 sh and what we as a people, what our responsibilities are towards one another and towards the greater wor world. I love matzo ball soup and uh, I maybe mean, Shalant is probably right behind and the chopped liver isn't far behind either. It means that your life is full of purpose, that you're put here in this world for, for a reason, that it's not just haphazard, but the God, the fact that you're born means God wants you to be here. We look through the J Judaism, through our, our the values of the Torah, that's sort of like a prism of life and, and everything gets filtered through that, how we interact with other individuals in terms of our, our values and how we navigate the complexity of, of the world. Everything is um, is filtered you know, through the, the, the values of our, of our, of our Judaism. I think it's the, one of the most exciting professions you, you can be in. Um, there's nothing, I don't think, m more rewarding than being a rabbi and able to interact uh, with, with other people and try to inspire and to help and to up uplift. And we need more more rabbis. So uh, I encourage anyone who's, who's interested in, in that uh, career to, uh, to, to explore it. Pretty much as you see it is, is what I am. Um, my congregants know this, but people probably outside would not be aware of this. But when I want to relax, I, I like to actually read uh, biographies of uh, pre United States presidents and also biographies of uh, founding fathers of this country. I'm Jewish, but I'm an American too, so I feel a close connection to America. But I also, I learn a lot from these biographies about who these people were and uh, the challenges that they faced and how they navigated them. I especially love the Founding Fathers and how they created this, uh, this, this country. So I learn a lot from, uh, from those biographies. I often then share them you know, with my members in, in, my, in my sermons and the classes that I give. I would just say to them, our Metro Detroit Jewish community that we have an incredible community here in Detroit. From the philanthropy to the federation to the services that are offered in this community, and just the warmth of being in the, in the Midwest and in Detroit, um, it, it, it's a gem. It's unique that what we have here, 
and uh, we should, um, you know, oftentimes we, we, we focus on challenges and maybe things that are that are missing, deficient. But I think uh, as a whole, it's um, we have an incredible community uh, made up of wonderful uh, people, committed uh, people. And it's something that we should not only appreciate, but we should uh, you know, actively uh, do our part to even strengthen and make better.